Good evening, Gloria. Hi. Good evening, Gloria. Hello, hello. How is it going? How is it going, Gloria? Very nice. Oh, okay. I good. just take my dinner. Oh, you're taking your dinner. Okay, good. Um, Ernesto, how are you? Oh, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening. How is it going? I'm good, I'm good. Good, good job, good job. Did you finish uh, section four and five? E yes, I did. Okay. And what about you, Gloria? Come again, please. Uh, did you finish section four and five? Uh, yes, it's oh, done. Oh, okay. And the final, and the final exam. Are you going to do it? Um, maybe Wednesday at the at the most. I can understand your question. Oh, okay. When are you going to take the final exam? Um, this last week. This is. I finished all. Oh, okay. Uh, let me ask you this question. Okay. Uh, okay. When is the last day of 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 all the online classes? Do you know? Mm, I don't know. What about you, Ernesto? I think it's the Thursday, but I don't, I'm not sure. This coming Thursday? Thursday, that would be the 4th, the 4th of October, right? Let me see. First, no, the 3rd of October. The 3rd of October will be the last day. Okay, so you have to take the final exam. And today, um, uh, I will be talking to you about the final exam, okay? All right. Have you have you seen the final exam? Did you see the final exam? Uh, I I did the final exam, but I don't know if that one is the last one. This is the last one, yes. Gloria. Oh, so if we if we finish that final exam, we have everything ready or what? Um yeah you would have everything ready but we have uh tomorrow we have a class on wednesday we have a class i believe and on thursday will be the last class but what i wanted to do with you guys is to uh i want you to learn the irregular verbs and the regular verbs in these coming three days you know that would be the best you could do so Whenever you can, whenever you connect to the online classes uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, what I what I am going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, that I want you. I will be asking you for the past tenses of the verbs and examples, and maybe that's the best we can do because that's going to be another step forward that you would be taking you know it's very important that you understand this okay so maybe this coming three on three online classes the most important thing will be to learn the past tense of the verbs the meanings and how to use them how to uh make sentences with the verbs carlos good evening wilbur uh, wilbur good evening good evening uh did you finish uh Section five. Yes, I finished this last Saturday. Oh, okay, great. I finished the the final exam too. Oh, you did. Okay, and what about Carlos? Uh, good evening. Uh, evening. In my case, I did section five. And the final exam. Uh, Yes, yes. You finished it. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so um, 
as I was saying, I believe that it's a very good time for learning the past tense of the irregular and regular verbs. Okay, let me ask you, uh, did you listen to the irregular verbs and the regular verbs on the weekend? Uh, Gloria, did you listen to the verbs? Ernesto, did you listen to the verbs? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Oh, okay. So, uh, Carlos, did you? Um, no. No. Okay. Wilbur, oh. did, did you? Did you listen to the verbs? Uh, some verbs, yes, Tisha. Oh, okay. So, okay. I want you to... Uh, oh, Gloria, did you listen to the verbs? Gloria Cuellar, did you listen to the verbs? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Now, um, remember uh, that you, if you have a car, you can listen to the verbs in the car. If you, if you, if you would travel on the bus, you can listen to the verbs on the bus with your cellular phone, remember? Because you have them recorded in your cellular phone, okay? So that's what you have to do every day. Every day when you're traveling for work, what you have to do is to listen to the irregular and regular verbs, okay? So, uh, you did this already, right? Okay, Ernesto Palacios, can you read uh, Home Alone? Let me, let me put it as soon. Oh, okay. Really. Yeah. Oh, are you... Come along. Yeah. Are you on your cell phone or in a computer? Right now in my cell phone. Oh, okay. Good. Because I, I go driving for home. You're driving? Yes. No. Oh, no. Okay. Don't read. Don't read. Don't read, please. Okay. <laughs> no, Thank no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, take it easy. Relax, relax. Okay, no, just listen. Right. Okay? Just listen. Just listen. All right. Yes, Carlos, okay, yes. Carlos Diaz, are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you, re can you read Home Alone? Oh, okay. Uh, Home Alone. Gary Carson, 50, sorry, 16, how terrible we can. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got he got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, uh, but at the top of the stair, the door was locked. He pushed on on it but I didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some cloth from the laundry on the floor and sleep of them. His parents came home someday morning and found Jerry in basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. We were just happy he's all right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, please repeat after me. Had. 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 Went. 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 Stayed. 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 Got up. Got up. Got up. Went. Went. Went, went back. Went. went back. Uh, was locked. Was locked. Was locked. Pushed. 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 Didn't open. 
Did open. Didn't open. Didn't open. Didn't open. Cold. 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 Didn't hear. Didn't hear. Had. Had. Were. Were. Had. Had. Put. Left. Left. Came. Came. Cold. Cold. Didn't answer. Didn't answer. Said. Said. Came. Came. All right. Okay, so the answer, right? And question one, question one, Wilbur. Why did Jerry go to the basement? Oh. To do laundry. To do laundry. To do laundry. Right. Luckily, Jerry had to eat. They were to grow in the basement and, uh, and had to be at least sleep with clothes for laundry. I'm sorry, let on them. Uh, to do laundry, okay? Good. Question two. Question two. Uh, Gloria, okay, read the question. Uh, where did Jerry sleep? Where did Jerry sleep? Oh. Jerry sleep on the floor. Slept on the floor. Okay. Jerry slept on the floor. On the floor. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday? Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Okay. Because they forgot something at home? Because a neighbor called them to let them know how Jerry was stuck in the basement? Because Jerry's answer on the phone when his parents called to check to check on him. What is the answer? The number two. Is number two. Because they were called to let them know Jerry was stuck. Okay, let's read. Let's, 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 go, let's go back. Okay, his parents came home Sunday morning. Down Jerry in the basement. He called them late Sunday night, but he didn't answer the phone. That's the answer. He didn't answer the phone. He said his father. He said his father. We came home. Uh, right away, we're just happy he's all right. Okay, so the answer would be because a neighbor called him <clears throat> because Jerry didn't answer the phone when he started. Yes. Which one? The third one. This one. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do one for this. Complete direct form of the verb. Okay. So select the correct form of the verb. A good weekend. Uh -huh. The answer should be Did you help? Did you have a good weekend? That's the correct answer. Very good. What about not really? I. What's the answer? Not really. I. Studied. Studied all, all weekend. Studied. The past tense is this. I studied all weekend. Hey, anything last weekend? Uh huh. Which one the answer? Did they? Did they did? Did they do? Did they do? Did they do? Okay. Did they do? Did they do? Okay. Yes, they. Yes, they. Okay, give me one second. Okay, here we go. All right. Yes, they. Went go go. What they? They went. They went. Hiking. They went hiking. And the next one, anything at all at the mall. Did she get anything at the mall? Did she? No. Did get. Anything else? Did she get? Did she got? Did she get? Did she get? Very good. No, she went. But she didn't buy. Not buy. Didn't buy. Didn't, didn't buy. Didn't buy. Okay. okay. Good job. Match the uh, nouns. Match the nouns. Okay. Match the correct verb, the correct words or phrases. Had. Photos, picnic, tennis, a play, swimming. A picnic. A picnic. Okay, played tennis. Played tennis. Very good. All right. So, a picture. Look a picture. No. no. Photos. Photos. Okay. When? When swimming, swimming, swimming. Okay, so so a play, so a play. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Now, um, give me your opinion. Uh, you have less, so Carlos, I want you to give me your opinion. About... I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me if you have learned something in this uh, 
two, three weeks that we've been together, tell me if you have learned something. Okay, Ernesto. So do you, do you want our, our opinion about the what we learned uh, okay, in, uh, on the three week? Yeah, let me let me write it down. Um, did you learn anything? Yes, I did. I, I learned I learned about the pronunciation because before my phonetic is no 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 good. <laughs> Not good. I got you. I got you. Practice for the talk about the the all the everything because we have to we have to talk. We have to speak for practice. Yeah. You know. Right. Right. Okay. And I. Mm -hmm. Go the ahead. better for me is is the verbs, the verbs because I I understand when you when you are talking about that, but the problem with me that I understand the what are you talking about that but i i don't know the the verbs the meanings yes yeah but you, that's why you have to listen to the verbs in the morning and in the afternoon you know or when you're traveling in your car on the bus and stuff all right okay so i believe ernesto that you are you are you speak you know, nice English. You speak nice English. And remember that in the future, uh, you will have an opportunity. You will have your opportunity. And, and you have to be ready. You have to be ready for this opportunity, okay? That's what you have to do. And one big step that you can take this month, this month of October is to learn the verbs that that would be that would be the um the objective you know uh, yes, I but, think so. but i believe that your, your your english is good i think your english is good so you should continue speaking with somebody do you have a person that you can speak english with do you have a person that you can speak english with with me yeah do you have a a, a lot of people, yes, a lot oh, of people oh, okay. talk, talk with me English. My boss only speak English. <laughs> so oh, I got some really? Help. Yeah. Where do you work? Where? Where? Do you, where do you work? Yeah. I'm I'm an electrician. I'm working in the electro electrician company. Uh huh. Uh, you have to know that, the, for example. You think that I, I am living in El Salvador right now, but it's not. I'm living in, in Austin, Texas right now, where I'm an electrician, and my boss and all my my friends, everything, everybody speak English, so I need to understand because they all time are speaking me. I understand I'm maybe a 50%. And my problem, I think, is, for example, uh, I have to say something in the future on the past tense. Right, the uh, tenses. When you mix the time, tenses. Yeah, all time I speak in present time, you know, because I, I don't know how can I say. I understand when, when they are talking me, when they are speaking me, I understand. But when I want to say something, it's yeah. difficult for me, expressions. Yeah. My phonetic is different. Yeah. And you have but, to know and you yeah. have to know too that it's a little bit different to the phonetic because yeah. they they speak a perfect language. I mean they speak faster, faster. Faster? Yes. And, and where, they, right they, now where right now where do you live? In in Texas or in San Salvador? No, right now I am in Austin, Texas. Oh, you are? Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Well, it's it's good. It's good. I lived in Texas. I lived in Texas. I studied in Texas, uh, in San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio, yeah. It's yeah. Uh, maybe one hour from here. No, it's it's uh, six hours away. It's five 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 hundred miles away. 
from here from yeah. Austin from oh no 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 it's no. one no. hour no it's one hour yeah I remember I remember that yeah Austin yeah. is beautiful Austin is beautiful but uh, I don't like the traffic it's terrible yeah I I know I know um did you go up uh, the tower Austin tower did you climb Austin? The, did you climb the top did you climb the tower the Austin Tower? The power? The ta the tower. Tower. I'm gonna write Oh it. the tower. Tower. Did you go up the tower? No, I work in the downtown. But yeah. I live the, the tower around. The tower is downtown. Yes. Is in Austin. Yeah, the yeah. But I work exactly on the downtown be beside to the capital capital building oh okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know austin i know austin i've been there it's beautiful when you're coming again i i will show you where is exactly the the good life in the downtown <laughs> the sick street is beautiful <laughs> all right all right all right okay great good job good job good job i'm happy about that okay so you have to keep it up and uh, learn the verbs, listen to them in the morning, at night, before you go to bed. Uh, when this class is over, uh, you got to do that, okay? So uh, in the future, in the near future, I believe that you will understand people more, okay? Yeah. Some words are different. For example, you told me uh, the tower. Tower, right? The tower. Ta tower, tower, yeah. Tower. So right here, the people say the downtown for say the same, the no, same thing. No, 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 no. Downtown, downtown is centro de la ciudad. But exactly. no, but tower means torre de Austin. Torre, la torre. The, the, the torre. What do you mean? The, the building? No, there is uh, like, uh, like a monument in austin and it's called yeah the the it's a capital the, capital the, tower oh capital tower right okay so but it's in austin so i went up there myself okay so when i was when i visited austin a long time ago okay yeah. good, good job ernesto good job i'm happy you're learning and you're learning from the states all right all right okay great uh what about carlos uh do you Carlos, do you, what is your opinion about, have you learned anything? Did you learn anything in this course? Okay, in my case, um, I did. Uh, sorry, I learned uh, some things. Um, Oh, okay. Yes. Like, uh, uh, did you did you like did you like the course? Are you are you still uh, learning the verbs and stuff? What do you say? Yes, uh, I learn um, verbs and um, and time. But uh, I didn't learn uh, the skill listening. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, yes. Remember, the more listening you do, Carlos, the better English you will speak, okay? The more you listen, uh, then the, the, the more you will speak in the future, okay? So, uh, this month's uh, objective is to learn all the irregular verbs and the regular verbs, okay? Okay, okay. So you have to listen to them in the morning and at night, and I will guarantee you that um, you will be all right in the future, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, Wilbur. Wilbur. Hi, Wilbur. Yes, yes. Uh, how do you think your English is right now 
after basically this principiante tracks? I think, teacher, I, I, I have a question for you. Yeah. <clears throat> and this, this course, this uh, of two curves that went, that third course, the third, the second, uh -huh. the mm -hmm. third one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know uh, if I compare the form when the, the other institute learn English to the student. Uh -huh. uh, this is the basic, I think, right? It's very basic, yeah, this is basic. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but uh, in, in, in what moment uh, I change the intermediately? Oh, to the intermediate, you have to do... I how, 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 how many curves uh, okay. I need to, I, 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 to, I think to finish there uh, are... to, uh, yes, to I, be in the, in the intermediate? Yeah, okay, I believe that there are... Uh, five uh, beginner courses, five intermediate courses, and five oh, okay. advanced. So basically, you have two more to go, and then you will be in the intermediate course. Okay. But for example, in this one, in this one, what I want you to do is to learn the verbs. Okay. So I'm putting emphasis on that because. Uh, in this month of October, you have to learn them, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so um, I hope you're learning more, Wilbur, and don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid. Just uh, uh, you have to try all the time to speak English, and don't worry about anything else. Um, just worry about communicating what you, can, what you have to say. Okay, you have to communicate what you have to say. So don't be afraid to speak English. That is the best you can do, okay? Okay, teacher, no problem. Great, great. What about Gloria Cuellar? What do you say, Gloria? How, do, do you think you learned in this course? Um, I think I learned uh, more than the word because after I started this program, I don't know nothing about English and I will hope Sunday I speak like a native like a people. Nati native speaker okay all right but I believe that you communicate well Gloria your English is very good I like your English go ahead Thank you. <laughs> uh, tell me tell me about what you have been doing about what you did in this course how, how did you feel uh, I feel so good because I starting learning uh, uh, more that uh, simple program because it's interactive. I study every day and every night <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because okay. Uh, during the day I have to work right. and I make new friends. Right. And yeah, because in uh, and every, every uh, how to say modulo <laughs> every every course every course um this group is is new people meet meet new people mm -hmm. and this um uh, make um make new friends yeah sure great I'm so proud of me because uh, i learned more right and as i said to everybody else I want you to learn the pronunciation of the regular verbs, okay? Pronunciation okay. of the regular verbs. Today, at the end, I will play the regular verbs to you, okay? So that you, you have to listen to them every day, and uh, uh, you're going to be uh, better off in the future. You're going to speak more English in the future. And if you travel to the USA, you will have no problem, okay? Because you will communicate. All right. You, I will. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate your words. All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Veronica Ramirez. Hi. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? How are you, teacher? Oh, I'm doing great. I was waiting for you to connect. Okay, Veronica, do you think that you have learned a little bit in this course? 
Y inglés no es igual el de los compañeros, teacher. No, no. Go, no, go ahead and you have to try. Mm -hmm. Veronica, you have to try to speak English, mm -hmm. okay? You have to dare, dare. How do you say dare in Spanish? Here, I wrote it for you, dare. How do you say dare? Atreverse. Sí, yo sé que tengo que atreverme. Go lo ahead. sé, pero sí, poco a poco voy soltándome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. But do you think that you learned something in this course? Eh, ¿Cómo explicarle? Poco a poco he ido aprendiendo palabras por palabras. Uh -huh. eh, vocabulario es corto, soy honesta, no practico mucho porque vivo bastante estresada en mi trabajo, uh -huh. viajo mucho y eso me impide, aunque todos hablen inglés en mi trabajo, pero me quedo así, como con usted. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dicen? Y ellos me explican, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, sí. uh, um, where do you work? Verónica, where do you work? Mm. ¿Dónde trabaja? Where do you work? Mm, es que estoy queriendo que decía en inglés. Ah, go yo ahead. trabajo en una empresa, yo trabajo en una empresa internacional de ventas de, de equipos médicos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ajá, all right, all que, right. pero es internacional, como le digo, soy la única que no habla inglés de todo el personal. Mm. Pero mi trabajo en sí es capacitar y, y, y darle mantenimientos a, a los equipos médicos. Ah, ok. Good job, good job. Ok, uh, maybe you want to learn the verbs, ok. You have to listen to the recordings. Okay, Veronica, but you're doing mm -hmm. a good job. Just keep on going, okay? Keep on okay. going, okay? Now, um, I want to ask you one more question. How do you see yourself? How do you, I'm going to write it down. How do you see How? yourself? How do you see yourselves in three years? Mm -hmm. How do you see yourselves in three years? I will, I will see myself speaking French. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Good job, yeah, sure. But I think if you're speaking English every day in, in, in Austin, um, in six months, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be all, but if you study English, like for example, uh, memorize the verbs, listen to the verbs, you will understand more. In six months, you will be fine, Ernesto Palacios, all right? I wish. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, you see yourself speaking in French. Anything else? Yes. Anything yes. else? No. no it's, it's a dream because I, I, I would like travel to Canada too. In Canada, oh, they, yeah. they speak uh, French. Sure, sure. Okay, go ahead. They speak English and French, right? But the official language of Canada is French. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. So uh, you, you can learn French and, and English first and then French. And then go get a job in, in Canada. I, I think that Canada is more beautiful than the USA. I hear, I heard about that. Yeah, Canada but is, you know, the, the English they speak in Canada is really good. It's a first word. Mm -hmm. It's really good, all right? Okay, Ernesto Palacios, good job, okay? What about Gloria Cuellar? How do you see yourself in three years, Gloria? I see myself like... Um... Manage, manager operations. Uh, as a, okay, as a manager. And where do you work? As, as, um, I work in Hensbrand. Oh, okay. It's manufacturing. Manufacturing underwear, right? Actually, oh. uh, I am an administrative assistant. Administrative assistant, okay. 
yeah but in the future i want to be manager operation like the plant great great good job and is there anybody who speaks english in your in your job Every, yeah everybody speak english because the the <clears throat> Uh, how to say em empresa? Uh, enterprise. Enterprise. Company. Enterprise is company is, or company. Company. My company is based in Manasuchu, Ma Massachusetts, in oh, the Massachusetts. United States. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. That's good news. So you have a plan, right, Gloria? Yeah. Always. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, Carlos Diaz, uh, how do you see yourself in five years? Well, um, in my case, I will, I will be a um, professional. Um, besides that, I will, I will be a good father. Um, no, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm, okay. Also, I will have my own house. Mm -hmm. um, besides, I will have my own company. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yes. Great. Great plans. All right. Great plans. I hope everything comes true. Okay, Carlos? Okay, thank you. Okay, Wilbur, how do you see yourself in five years? In three years? In three years? Teacher, I I, <clears throat> I have to work. Mm -hmm. And the first, I work from Monday to Friday. Okay. I work in the in the sewing company. Oh, okay. Uh, similar to Gloria work too. Okay, uh, but I work to the Fruit of the Loom brand. I I don't know if you know this brand. Which one? Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. No, I don't. It's it's a sewing company too. Okay. Okay. But uh, I work in this company. I have twenty years work in oh, this company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, the second work that I have. Uh, is um, I am lawyer. Okay. And I work a weekend with my profession. Okay. And in three years or or less years, I will be the translate of the buffer of lawyer. Oh, oh, oh buffet of lawyer of lawyers. Okay. Good job. A firm. A firm. A firm. You, yes. You will you will belong to a firm of lawyers. Uh, yeah, great. It will be the, the, the translate of these people. Oh, uh, okay. You, you you know working with the same. You see yourself working with the same company. What in this? In, yeah, in the same company as a lawyer. No, 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 no. Oh, in in a firm. No. You want to work it. in yes, a firm? Yes. Oh, okay. Great. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Veronica, how do you see yourself in five years, in three years? Veronica, you see yourself speaking English? Speaking English. In, in six months, you will be speaking English. Okay, Veronica, repeat after me. In mm -hmm. three years. Pardon? In three years. In three years, I will. I will be. Be a very good speaker. A very good speaking speaker. A speaking speaker. A speaker of the language. Of the language. All right. So in in. In less than three years, you will speak English, Veronica, okay? Good job, people, good job, I like that, okay? I, 
I enjoy the conversations with you because you're a beginner course and I believe you're doing a great job. Okay. So, um, let's go back and do one more exercise from the exam. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Select the best answer. The best answer. What is the best answer? Were your parents born in the USA? The answer? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, my first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998. It was a little scary. Okay, so which one is the best answer? The first one. No, they weren't. My parents were born. My parents were born in Japan. Yes. Okay, this one, right? Okay, yes. good job. No, 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 they no, 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 no. The first one is no. The first one. My parents were. No, they they were. No, they were. My parents were. Born. Born boy in boy in Japan. In Japan. Yeah, Japan. right. So number one. Oh yeah, the first one. Yeah, the, the first, first one. one. Yeah. When did you where did you grow up? Where did you grow I grew up? Japan. I grew up. See, Tokyo. I in Tokyo. Tokyo. I, I grew in Tokyo. I grew in Tokyo. I grew in Tokyo. Right. Who was your first English teacher? Um, well, for the first uh -huh. What was your I'm... My first teacher was... My first, first English teacher was Mr. Sato. My... Mr. Sato. Mr. Sato. 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 All right. All right. All right. When did you come to New York? When did you come, come to New York? When? I came to New York. I came to New York in 1998. How was your first day? How was your first day in the USA? How was your first day in the USA? How was your first day? It was a little scary. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It was scary. Scary. That's scary. Okay, that's true. You were scared. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, can you have listen the listening? Okay. No, you have to find your Okay, so you have to look at this. You listen and answer, okay? Maybe the most important here is across from. Okay? You have to use these prepositions to answer. On, on, between, next to, next to, on the corner of. On the corner of. How do you say in Spanish across okay. from? Enfrente de, detrás. No, no, enfrente de no es, es across al, from, no, cruzando, from, al uh, cruzar, cruzar la, enfrente, cruzando, oh. al cruzar la calle, quiere, no, enfrente de no, al cruzar la calle, okay. Now, on, Thank you. sure, on, what is on? Se usa en las calles. I live El, on Sisimiles Avenue. I live on uh, um, M Street. I live on 2nd Avenue. I live on 1st Avenue. I live on Center Street. Between. What's the meaning of between? Between. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of between? Between, entre. Between, entre. Uh -huh. And what is the meaning of next to? Next to. Detrás de. N no. No, next no, no. To. Ne next, next to. Next to. A la par de. A la par de. And on the corner of? On the corner of? On the corner, sobre la esquina, en la esquina de, en la esquina de First Avenue and Main Street, Center Street and Second Avenue. 
en la... On the corner of sería en la esquina. En la esquina de dos calles. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. So, this is basically what you have to understand here, ok? Ok. So, I believe... Uh, let me try... Oh, let me see. Um, let me try and take you to... I want to take you to... Let's see if I can. Here we go. Let me see. I want to take you to the verbs, the regular verbs. That's going to be the last thing we're going to do in three minutes. Okay. The pronunciation of the regular verbs, regular verbs in the past, you too. That's the way you're supposed to do it, okay? You too. There we go. Okay, you write it down like that in your cellular phone that has internet and then should be one of these you put videos okay here we go so uh here we go Rushed, developed dressed dropped fast Okay, guys, um, I'm going to have to see you tomorrow. You take it easy and have a good night. You have the verbs. Remember, I sent you the verbs. You can, you can practice them, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, guys? You have a great night. Okay, teacher. All right. Bye-bye. Right, take it easy. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Nice. See you. Take it.